as I would like to hear about the genesis of the play, especially I, I just love the way you inserted Karen Carpenter in the middle of all those mm -hmm. other divas. <laughs> you know, can you just sort of walk through that a little bit? Well, uh, I, I will start. Um, the, the play originated while Scott Wilkerson and I were uh, working at Tower Records. Um, this is going to date us. Uh, we were working in the classical music section, and by the way, I don't know a sonata from a, a concerto. Um, <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> and um, while we were putting records away, um, Scott would ask me questions. We'd become friends, and he'd just ask me questions, and I would answer in the voice of like Karen Carpenter, Elaine Stritch, uh, Bet Bet uh, Midler, or Liza Minnelli, and what what happened is we we didn't really write anything formal um until we uh, we 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 have birthdays on this sort of on the same time um and we had a a party at our house and we decided to have a performance party and so we put together Bette Midler um Judy Garland and Liza Minnelli and and Scott put together the professor monologues so what happened is we kind of, he did his thing and he wrote the Liza and Darling scene. And then I did the Bette Midler sort of semi-concert and through some weird fortuitous synchronicity, I met this guy at Circuit City and he said, I have a theater. And I said, I have a show. And we didn't have a show. Only thing we had were these little- I have an idea. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a show. And so we sort of cobbled them together with whatever we could. And and I was obsessed with Karen Carpenter. And I always liked to dress like her. And and we just, and I don't know whose idea it was. And we just put her in and we said, well, well she's not a diva. And I said, well, she's got to be in there because I love her so much. We've got to have Karen in there. <laughs> and so it was either Scott's idea or my idea. I don't know. And we just said she's going to bust in on the lecture. So Scott, your turn. I mean, I'm so glad you did that because otherwise I wouldn't have been here. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was really clever. I, I you know, it was it, it just it, it changed the flow right away and having this argument about whether she belonged or not. That was really clever. You know. Thank you. Scott. Well, I don't have more to add except to say that uh, the, the, the show was uh, itself uh, an improvisational act of friendship and, and love in the middle of this vast metropolis los angeles we created our own world made up of these extraordinary divas and we were both reading a lot of uh cultural history and listening to operas and musicals and uh all of that is what i know is very surprising to learn uh and these this this world got larger and larger and, and it it had to arrive as a show and stephen's quite right uh about the way in which uh, the, 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 ca the causation was entirely reversed. Uh, we, we had theater and the space and the advertisements before we really had a script. And so it occurred to us at some point that we should probably write the show. And <laughs> so we, we did. And it, 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 our roles in, in the show turned out to be weirdly prophetic, wouldn't you say, Stephen? Uh, I mean, in, in, the, in the way that our lives uh, went after that. Well, yeah, because you became a professor and I became um, an, a diva, an actor. So, you know, <laughs> I, 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 it's sort of like we wrote these, it's like we wrote these roles for ourselves. And I always say that Scott, uh, I was a reviewer when we wrote this. I was writing, I was going to plays and writing reviews of other people's material and CDs and stuff. And, um, and it's funny because um, I became, I always say Scott tricked me back into acting because I didn't think I would ever act again. I was just a, a writer, a very serious writer. 
And um, through this, I became an actor. So Scott and I sort of grew into our roles. I became a, a diva and he became a professor. So it was, it, it was very prophetic 